One game I've always wanted to play over the years and do a review on is Tomba on the PlayStation. It's one of those games I've seen a lot since back when I was a kid, but never sat down and played it. So here we are with this review. Tomba was developed by Whoopi Camp and published by Sony. It was released on the PlayStation in 1998. Tomba is a platformer game that is mostly in 2D, but does have moments of 2.5D to it. If you're wondering who Whoopi Camp are, they are a developer that only developed this game and the sequel. Although it has been said, Sony developed the game outside of Japan. Now the lead designer, Tokiro Fujiwara, decided to go with this game after leaving Capcom in 1997. You play as a pink-haired dude named Tomba, and you must go out to recover your grandfather's bracelet from a race of pigs. These pigs are demonic and little assholes called coma pigs. So you need to fight them, throw them, and so on. There are also other enemies like level hazards, birds, spiders, biting plants, and more. There are quite a few areas you will explore to take down these enemies, such as Watchtower, Mushroom Forest, Lava Caves, Haunted Mansion, and more. There are areas you can interact with characters like dwarves, 100-year-old wise man, 1,000-year-old man, and even the 10,000-year-old man, the Tree of Knowledge, and others as well, which is pretty cool. Of course, you can go around and help them with certain tasks and so on. You can leap on enemies and gain experience on how to take them down, so yes, there are some RPG elements to this game, and it also allows you to level up, too. You have weapons like a mace, or a wood, and even a stone boomerang, so you can knock the shit out of the enemies, which is really funny at times. Throughout this game, there are great puzzles you can try to solve, ranging from uncovering hidden items, rescuing villagers, and even saving a poor stranded puppy. There's definitely a lot to do in this game, and it makes it to be action-packed. The graphics for Tomba on the PlayStation are quite nice. Now, you will notice a lot of cutscenes in the game that look like a cartoon, almost anime-like, which is pretty damn cool. And it tells a little bit about the backstory and so on. And when it comes to the graphics of the actual gameplay, I like it. Now, like I said earlier, this game is a 2D platformer, and it has 2.5D moments to it. With this, you can interact with the background, climb up stuff, and do things on the background portion of each level, or in most places. And I think that's really fucking cool, especially for its time. The game is very colorful. I really didn't run into any slowdowns or glitching and shit like that. Nothing to complain about here at all. The music, pretty good. I like it. Fits the theme of the game perfectly. Kind of has that tropical sound to it on some of the levels, which is nice. And of course, each area has its own music theme. And it's well composed, and that is always great to see in a game like this. The sound effects are good, too, and there's a shitload in here, ranging from a attack noises, jumping, and so on. Even your character makes noises here and there, and the voiceover work on some of the cutscenes are very well done. When it comes to difficulty, this game can be tough, especially trying to figure out some of the puzzles, ranging from finding missing dwarves and so on. You do have to explore each area very well. Some might get frustrated by this, and personally, I like the difficulty, even if it does fuck with my head a bit. The controls can be a little confusing in the beginning, but once you get the hang of them, they are pretty good. Moving around is easy, jumping is easy, going through the inventory is easy, attacking enemies is easy. It takes a little bit of time to understand that is all. They are quite responsive too, which is a huge plus, especially in a game like this, where you have to dodge some of these enemies and so on. Tomba is a very fun game. Very well done and developed. The gameplay is fun, ranging from the platforming aspects to the puzzle aspect and so on. There are a lot of quests in this game to go through. The graphics are very well done, ranging from the 2.5D graphic style. There is no slowdown or glitching. The cutscenes are badass. The music is well done. Same with the sound effects. This game has a lot of gameplay to it, and I love it. Sure, it's tough at times, and it can be a little frustrating, but once again, I have no issue with that. The controls can be a little confusing and even frustrating right at first, but it shouldn't take you long to understand. Personally, I would definitely call this a classic. Sadly, it kind of had lukewarm performance, but it sold enough for a sequel, and ended up being a cult classic, which I do agree with. Either way, if you like platformers with a puzzle aspect to them, definitely check out Tomba on the PlayStation. Now, if you want to pick up a copy for yourself, well, good luck finding it. 90% rare. If you want a digital copy, it was on the PlayStation Network for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable, but I don't know if you can go on and get those anymore. You might be able to on the PlayStation 3. And of course, there is emulation, so you can go that route. Looking at prices on eBay, $63.98, $79.99, $70. $32 for a Japanese version, $89.94, and prices in between. For a sealed copy, this game goes for about $250 to $300. As you know how I feel about that load of shit, that's a fucking bunch of stupidity. If you want to play it and you want a physical copy, you might as well say fuck it and emulate it. I know it's not the same, but at least you get to play the motherfucker. Why this isn't on the PlayStation Network on the PlayStation 4 currently is really sad to me. Maybe one day it will be because it needs to be. Everyone should get to check this game out as far as I'm concerned. When it comes to sequels, there is Tomba 2 The Evil Swine Returns, which came out a few years later on the PlayStation. At a later time, I will definitely do a review of that game. It's a damn shame that Tomba has become a thing of the past, and a new game would be really fucking cool. I think if done right, maybe a 3D platformer 
platformer slash puzzle game that has a slight open world feel to it and RPG mechanics would fit very well in modern gaming. Hopefully one day that will happen. I hope you enjoyed this review of Tomba on the PlayStation. Thanks for watching.